All power to the people. Welcome to the People's Podcast. My name is Africa, and I'm here with the attorney, Cynthia Hardaway, for the um, Rodwell Brothers. She's going to give us an update on what's going on with the case right now. But before she, um, before she speaks, I want to bring you up to date on what's been going on. The Rodwell Brothers were arrested in front of their house um, on June 1st. And since then, they've been going back and forth with the, with the legal system, trying to get their freedom back. Right now, Ms. Hardaway is going to tell us what's been going on with the case. But first, I want to show you the video of what happened that day. The video is going to show you what the police released. This, this, this was the body camera from the police, and they were trying to tell us this is what justified their behavior. Although we, all, we know now in the community, according to the consent decree, their actions were illegal. You can't just pull up on citizens, on taxpayers, and just jump out the car. Don't, don't, um, don't tell, don't, don't what? Cynthia, what's the proper term? Don't what? Don't give your... You have to, uh, it, it, in order to, well, there's different ways that you can uh, stop uh, people. But um, the one that we're talking about, uh, when you detain uh, an individual so that they're not free to leave, that's called a, um, a detention for an investigatory uh, situation. And in order to do that, you have to have a um, reasonable suspicious suspicion of criminal activity um, having occurred. Otherwise, you, the, the officers are not entitled to stop you and prevent you from leaving. Now, they can stop you and say, hey, do you mind? You know, if they don't see you doing anything, just walking down the street, they say, hey, can we talk to you? You could say no and move along. But once they prevent you from leaving, then that becomes a detention and they have to have certain, there's a standard that has to be met before they can do that. But they usually got to um, like say who they are. Like they have all the police. Fire. Exactly. Well, but, when but, they, when they, when they actually get to you, if they're, if they're in um, plain clothes and unmarked vehicles, like in this instance, this instance, um, in order for them to uh, detain you in that way, they have to have the reasonable suspicion and they also have to let you know who they are. I mean, that's, there's no, they, they have no authority just as individuals on the street on, without the, um, the um, color of, of their badge, so to speak, to just be stopping people and, and preventing them from leaving the scene. They have so, to let you know who they are and they have to let you know what's going on. So right now, I'm about to play the video. The, remember, this is the video from the police. This is the video that the police released to justify their behavior. And in the video, you, you see it from the beginning when the police pulled up, um, dresses in civilian attire. They didn't announce themselves. You will see from the video exactly what transpired.
Now that um that video basically showed that the police just rolled up, came out of their car, grabbed the brothers up, and started accosting them. The um the other officers that you see in the screen came later on after the first SUV. I guess that was their backup that came in later to come and assist the the first set of police that got there. But their behavior was was wrong. Their behavior was against the law. According to the consent decree. What they did was not was was not legal. And since since June first, these brothers have been going back, well, been dealing with the um judicial system on how to um to get discharges off them. And like I said, Cynthia was gonna give us an update on what's been going on. So Cynthia, please let us know where we at. Okay, so you know that three of the brothers were released. Uh Justin Rodwell, who is my client, is still detained. Um, he, uh, we appealed, um, his initial detention to the higher court that's still pending. Um, now recently he was supposed to be indicted within 90 days of his arrest. The state failed to indict him. Um, and, uh, we argued that he should be released because they did not go through the proper procedures. They missed the deadline, et cetera, et cetera. And the trial court ruled against us and still did not release uh justin so now we had to appeal that and that is in the appellate division um pending uh determination so um aside from that we had a court date i believe it was on september 17th and all of the brothers were there they were arraigned they entered their initial not guilty pleas and we have another court date uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's October 15th. They, have they been indicted? They were all, indicted. That's all of them. Went. Correct. Can, they can were they... indicted after, well, since the uh, 90 days lapsed for indictment, um, they and uh, we brought it to the court's attention that Justin should be released because the 90 days had lapsed. Uh, the state subsequently indicted them on, I believe, September uh, 3rd, I want to say. But the 90 days the ninety days expired on August 31st. When the court date is on the 15th, like 8, 8 a.m.? Um, I believe it's 9. I just want to check right quick just to make sure. I'm not telling you the wrong time. Uh, it will be... Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Can, mm -hmm. can, can supporters come to court? Corporate, unless, unless the rules have changed due to COVID, the court proceedings are all public proceedings. So, gotcha. so it's no longer on Zoom, right? It's a, it's in physical in the physical building, right? In the physical building. Mm -hmm. What's the what's the address? Do you know it off the top of your mind? Fifty West Market. Fifty West Market. No, I'm saying this because I want to. We're trying to organize to bring people to come to court. To show mm -hmm. the judge, to show the judge and um the prosecutor that this this family has support from the community. And our voice sometimes is not heard. It's it's mm -hmm. hard to get, it's hard for the people out here in the community to get their voice heard because they don't have the resources. And I believe I think the other three brothers, do they do they have attorneys? Yes. They're, all right. Yeah, but but like sometimes most of the time in these cases, like the, the um the citizens don't can't afford legal counsel. And it's really hard to get your voice out there if you can't get in the in the space or on the platform to be heard. And anything they can do whatever they want beyond those walls, beyond those doors. So it's like it's real imperative that the community come come and show, um, and show their support. And I'm gonna be, be I'm gonna be organizing that. Me along with the Black Panther Party, we're gonna show up to give our support to the brothers. But I I, I know, man. I I think Justin got a baby, right? Two. Two. Oh, I thought it was one baby girl. He had, it's like, I, I know it must be almost impossible for him to deal with in there. Understand that he still has kids out here. And the, who's, who's taking care of the kids? Well, right now, um, well, he has custody of one child. Uh, and, I, well, you know, I don't want to, you know, share too much of his personal business. But I know that um, uh, he has two, an older daughter and a younger daughter. 
And I think that the uh, the older daughter would be at his um at the grand grandparents grandma's in Miss Rodwell's house. Miss Rodwell's house. Um, and then maybe I'm not sure where the uh, where his baby resides. I don't have that information. Got you. Is there anything you need from from the public? Is there anything that you need from us? Is there anything we could do to help? I mean, you know, like I've you know told you before, once these things hit the legal system, it's just really kind of hard to get any type of relief, especially on a case like this when um, you know society tends to want to be on the side of the police officers as against the you know individuals who uh, we think were unlawfully uh, detained and and it's unfortunate, but that's the way that it is. So when you say that it's imperative for um, people to come and show their support, I agree with that. I think that, um, you know, if nothing else, it certainly would show the family and um, the brothers that, you know, they have the support of the community, that they're not by themselves. Um, and, you know, whether it will sway the, this legal system, I mean, that remains to be seen. But sometimes uh, people just need to know that they're not, you know, out there on an island by themselves fighting these things. And when people come and rally and support, then that always makes a difference. It may not make the difference, but it definitely will make a difference. Look, look. So it's very important. It's very important. So if anybody can offer that support we would most definitely appreciate that uh, it's i know it's hard Cynthia. i know it's not easy because i've been through the legal system myself and you've been you've been working hard on this you've been working hard trying to get these brothers home anything that we can do to support we're going to be there like i said we're going to be in court and i'm going to after after i get this video i'm going to cut it up and put it out to try to get more people to to be aware of what's going on so they could show up but there's a lot of people in the community that show interest uh, everywhere I go, people are telling me, you know, let me know when the next time, the next event, so I can come out and come show support. And I'm going to make sure I let them know, man. Thanks a lot for coming through. Anytime. You just call me and I'll be right here for you, sir. And thank, thank you for all the good work that you're doing in the community. Uh, I, for one, greatly appreciate it and, and admire you. Well, you know, you know how I feel about the I situation. Already know. Yo, okay. thank, you. thank you, sis. You're welcome. Right, Take bye -bye. care. Look, we got to go out and support. We can't, we can't just like sit at home and watch watch the stuff through social media and don't go out and give our support. You know, just going out to go vote, just watching the meet the news, posting stuff on social media, you know, that really does nothing to to change the material conditions that we deal with. When when they do this to one of our our brothers, our sisters, our children, our parents, you know, we have to show out and support. We have to come out there and support. The court date is on October 15th. That's what, 11 days from now, patients? 11 days from now, 9 a.m. If you ever see me on the streets and you say you want to support the things that I'm doing, yo, I'm, asking you to, I'm asking you to show up. The family still need funding, man. They still need money for the lawyer. They still need to pay these lawyers. If you don't have money, it's almost impossible to navigate your way through this legal system. The family needs your help. The, um, the, the um, family's cash app is Dollar sign Monique Rodwell, M O N I Q E R O D W E L, one L, two L's, W E L L, Dollar sign Monique Rodwell. Um, please, man, please, if you really want to help this family, please donate. Donate to their legal fund. Come out and support them at court. Like, we can't, like I said, we can't just be behind our screens on social medias. Or, or going out to go vote to try to, to try to change our conditions. We got to put boots on the ground. I mean, you got to put yourself out there. You got to put some skin in the game. You know, when you go in that courtroom and that judge see that courtroom is packed with a lot of supporters, with everybody from the community supporting this, um, these four brothers, the judge looks at it different. The judge knows he or she can't just do what they want to do. They have to, they have to um, abide by the rules because people are watching. Because people, because people are concerned, so I need you to come out. They cannot go to court, and that courtroom be empty. We have to show out and support these people, man. We have to, with well, these people, we have to support our brothers and sisters. All power to the people.